Today we're learning how to use an external USB Wi-Fi adapter in Windows 10. In Windows 10 they've changed some things up versus Windows 8. Uh, we're going to go down here and click on the Wi-Fi menu. Right now our computer, we don't have an external device hooked up. We just have the internal Wi-Fi card, of course. It comes in almost every modern computer. And you see we have some available networks here. Now in Windows 8 it used to say Wi-Fi above it. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and plug in an Alpha AWUS036 AC device. This is an external USB 802.11 AC upgrade. We hear the noise indicating the adapter is connected. The light is flashing on our adapter and you see the network's changed a little bit. Now I have a connection to this 5 gigahertz network. I've got an additional couple of networks coming in here. What Windows 10 is actually doing is it's no longer showing the networks the internal card detects. It's automatically showing the networks your USB adapter that you plugged in detects. It assumes if you have two connected or if you had an internal Wi-Fi and you connected a USB, you must want to use the USB so it shows you the networks here. There's no more Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi 2 subcategories on this particular screen. So in some ways that's great, but if you're used to Windows 8, you might be confused and think that you're still connected through your internal Wi-Fi. So if you want to be sure, if you're using, say, a long-range Wi-Fi upgrade and you want to be absolutely sure you're connecting through your USB adapter and not the internal card, what we'll do is just click here on Network Settings. And our Network Settings window will come up here. And here you can actually see the Wi-Fi 2 and the Wi-Fi, or in this case it's just called wireless network connection on my computer, you can see them side by side and you also have the familiar on-off switches that we had in Windows 8. So, if you want to be absolutely sure we're connecting through the Wi-Fi 2, which is our alpha adapter, it does tell us right here we're connected. And uh, if we want to be certain we're also connected uh, via our internal card, we're just going to turn that off. And now the internal Wi-Fi is off, and we're definitely using the Wi-Fi 2. And just to know, the reason this is limited here is because I have a test router set up next to me for the 5 gigahertz, so it's not actually hooked into the Internet. But um, in any event, we'll just turn internal wireless back on. And you can turn it on and off as desired. And over here, it will show the Wi-Fi 2, which is our alpha adapter. And if we unplug you can see it goes back to showing the internal network cards in that menu and you'll also see that the Wi-Fi 2 is now absent from the network settings window.